welcome to Nurses News. In health news, a recent study by Public Health Canada has reported a dramatic increase in sexually transmitted infections in the older adult. Over the last decade, there has been a 166% increase in chlamydia, a 210% increase in gonorrhea, and a 1,113% in syphilis. Here to further investigate this situation is Allison, our traveling reporter. Allison? Thanks, Amy. I'm here at the local community hospital talking to Dr. Regina Falange about why we're seeing this dramatic increase in STIs in the older adult. Dr. Falange, can you give us some insight as to why this is happening? Well, Allison, there are multiple causes associated with this outbreak. Increased divorce rates, increased use of Viagra, and no risk of pregnancy are a few reasons. This can be an embarrassing and uncomfortable subject for healthcare providers and older adults to bring up naturally. And with the lack of education about this subject, the elderly may not even know they are at risk. Very interesting, Dr. Flange. Now, you said that this could be an uncomfortable subject to bring up naturally. We talked to some nurses here at the hospital to see why they aren't bringing up sexual health in their head-to-toe assessments. It's none of our business. It's a can of worms! I just haven't got the time. They'll think we're perverts! Wow, those are some great looking nurses. Now Dr. Flange, how can we overcome this problem? It is important for nurses to recognize that sexual activity is alive and well in the older adult, and a sexual health assessment should be included when taking a medical history. The nurse should not avoid eye contact, be caring and non-judgmental when talking about sex. The sexual health history should include info about sexual partners, signs and symptoms that may be present, and problems or satisfaction with sex life. It should also include use of protection and precautions against STIs. Now here's an example of a nurse taking a sexual assessment properly. So Olka, now I'm going to ask you some questions about your sexual health. Now do you currently have a partner? Yes. And is this an old partner or a new partner? A few months old. Okay. And within this past year, how many partners do you think you've had? Well, my George died about five years ago. Okay. And this is my first time experimenting, so just one. Alrighty. So, um, when you and your new partner are together, do you use any form of protection? Oh my dear, I am far past the ripe age of childbearing, and Frank has had a vasectomy. Okay. Do you, did you know that you're still at risk of contracting an, a sexually transmitted disease? Oh my dear, those are young people's <laughs> diseases. I don't have to worry about those. Well, Olga, anytime you're sexually active, there's always a chance of contracting a sexually transmitted infection. So if you want, we can use this time to talk about how you can protect yourself and Frank better while you're sexually active. I am so happy you've brought this to my attention. The last thing I need is to take another pill. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. That was great. Any thoughts, Dr. Falange? This nurse covered the essentials when talking about sex. She initiated the conversation, maintained eye contact, and remained respectful of the client's cues. She used clear and concise language and did not appear uncomfortable or shy away from the subject. Now, can you give us some quick tips about prevention? Well, education is key. Knowledge is power. Using condoms and regular STI screening can significantly reduce the risk of contracting an STI. Please talk to your healthcare provider today. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Falange. This has been so knowledgeable. Back to you, Amy. Well, we sure have learned a lot today. From everyone here at Nurses News, have a good night and a pleasant tomorrow.